give basic theory of UV spectroscopy. UV spectroscopy is based on electronic excitation of molecules. The absorption from the UV region supply energy which is sufficient to raise the electron from one energy level to higher level. According to molecular orbital approach, the absorbed energy of light is used to transfer an electron from bonding or non-bonding molecular orbital to an anti-bonding molecular orbital. For example, in acetone, all single bonds are sigma bond, while double bond is pi bond and lone pairs of electron with oxygen which don't take part in bonding are non-bonding electrons. Now, the electron thus transferred may be a sigma bond electron or a pi bond electron or it may be an electron from the lone pair that is non-bonding electron. The possible electronic transitions that are involved in ultraviolet and visible region are sigma to sigma star, sigma to pi star, pi to sigma star, pi to pi star, n to sigma star and n to pi star. Pi to pi star transition occurs with a compound containing double bond and n to pi star transition occurs with a compound containing heteroatom like oxygen or nitrogen. Thus, increasing amount of energy is required to raise n, pi and sigma electrons from their bonding to the corresponding antibonding molecular orbital. In fact, sigma electrons are held very tightly and hence the energy required for sigma to sigma star transition is very high that it requires absorption of wavelength from the far UV region. The ordinary ultraviolet spectrophotometer do not cover the far UV range. Therefore, UV spectroscopy does not provide any information about sigma bonds. And thus, saturated compounds like alkanes cannot be analyzed by UV spectrum. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and share with your friends and also subscribe to my channel.